Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another five box break of 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Sapphire Edition. This is random team three, um, half case from a fresh case. All teams are in, all card chip, and there's an early bird special. If you're one of the first 16 spots purchased, we're gonna take your names, we're gonna give away an extra spot. So let's see who the early bird is gonna be. Let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times. I guess you're all early birds. Who's gonna catch the worm? Top name after 11. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 and final time. Congrats to Justin Weber. After 11, you are the early bird that catches the worm. It's a little buy one, get one for you. Now, let's assign you a team. Let's get all the names in here. Let's get a team list going. So second dice roll, let's roll it, randomize it. Snake eyes, two times. One and two. Mark down to Daniel. Snake eyes for the teams, one and two, easy. White Sox down to the Red Sox. All right, Mark with the White Sox, Tristan, Diamondbacks, Rays. Mark with the Twins, Daniel, Guardians, Mariners. Justin with your early bird spot, Astros, and your regular spot, Blue Jays. Tristan, Angels and Orioles, Daniel, Royals and Dodgers. Tristan with the Reds, Jesse with the Rangers, Tristan with the Tigers. Mark with the Giants, Daniel with the Nationals, Jesse with the A's, Justin with the Marlins, Alex with the, uh, Alex with the Pirates. Tristan, Mets, Cubs, Devin, Yankees, Carlos, Padres, Daniel, Rockies, Justin, Cardinals. Daniel Braves, Brian with the Phillies, Mark with the Brewers, and Daniel has the Boston Red Sox. All right, we're going to pause the video for a little trade window. I'm going to go run and grab the case. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back. No deals were done, so... Let's get this five box break going. He's a smart Alex. There you go, Rex. Not a smart Alec. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is gonna sell out fast. So I would get your early bird teams now or your early bird spots now before someone else does. And you know someone else is going to. So this, this Bowman Draft Sapphire went fast. So I appreciate everybody getting into I think personal breaks, multiple cases are gone already, even before Jason went on, went live. So this has been hot. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get any more, but just keep an eye on the website to see if it pops back up again. All right, we'll go one, two, three for the back five, and then four, five, six for this five right over here. Two. We'll do that five, and this side we will put next to me over here, and we'll save those for next time because I'm sure that's going to sell out um, very quickly. And that's it. Those five boxes. That's it. Until we got. I hope we get more. Until we get more. Obviously, Sapphire Edition, uh, Parallel Hunting, that's the big hunt here. There's this exclusive set. They don't print too many of these. It's an online exclusive, so this gets to be very, very popular. Ooh, is that some red down there? What is that? Reds out of five, maybe? Here's Matt McClain for the Reds. Tristan, that's to 50. The Kumar Rockers for Jesse and the Rangers. Oh, Travis Kelsey's hosting SNL. Has he ever done it?
All right, sitting behind Jason Dominguez is a two out of five, Henry Davis. Nice. Former number one overall pick. Henry Davis, Pirates, Alex Donnelly. Got randomized the Pirates. Yep, 2021, first overall. Two out of five. That's really strong. Alex, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Very nice. Another box. I do not listen to the Kelsey podcast. What, was, what? Give me some highlights. What was their insight? What was some insight in their post-Super Bowl show? Anthony Gutierrez and Zach Nito, 52 out of 99. Yeah, believe it or not, SNL still on air, Brian. Tristan with the Angels. And orange, Alexis Hernandez, 24 out of 25. Tristan with the Cubbies. too soon but I wonder if they would have had one of the Eagles host if they had won I would think so it sounds like that was planned probably Jason Kelsey probably their their uh, their entertainment agent just working overtime booking booking the Kelsey's for SNL. And uh, give some more exposure to that podcast of theirs. Get that sweet, sweet podcast money. Surprised they didn't get Kelsey, not Mahomes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they offered it to Mahomes and he didn't, he declined. But I feel like I feel like the Kelseys are more are better at that sort of stuff anyway. There's Zach Veen, eleven out of fifty. That's for the Rockies. I'll go to Delo Daniel. Yeah, there is that persistent rumor that uh, Lorne Michaels. Here's Jacob Misoriski. Misoriski. All right, butchered that. 11 out of 99 for the Brewers. Yeah, who will take over for Lauren Michaels? Maybe they should just stop the show. And a nice Elijah Green. Going to Daniel and the Nats. Ah, they complained about it. Yeah, Jason Jaspi was talking about the field, too. There, there are a lot of people slipping around, both sides. Yeah, I don't think as players, there wasn't... I don't know. I feel like fans will make more, more a bigger bigger deal about that, right? Can you still get fined if, if on your own podcast, a non-NFL-sponsored podcast, could you criticize the refs and you know, not get fined? I think both Tina Fey, Kono Ryan arrived on the show, correct? Tina Fey, in fact, was a head writer on that show. She was there for a long time. Um, I don't think... I mean, I don't know anything. 
All right, I don't, I don't know these people, but I have a feeling that Tina Fey probably won't do it. Mostly because I feel like she has other creative things she wants to do and not be locked into the grind of Saturday Night Live week to week. Conan O'Brien, I don't think he wants to do it either. He Doesn't he have an HBO or Showtime show coming up? I think he's going to be focusing on that. I don't know who Steve Higgins is. And uh, Kenan Thompson, I think I feel like Kenan Thompson has other things he wants to do than no, be... I mean, basically, it's... You know, basically, like, it's an executive role. Like, those guys are, like, creatives, right? See you, Joe. All right, hey, see you, Michael. How's it going? Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, do I have your number? No. I'll get your number from someone, and then... Yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right, behind Jason Morobel is Yerlin Confidence, 47 out of 99. Steve is currently the sidekick of the Jimmy Fallon of Jimmy Fallon on the Tonight Show. What are his qualifications to to run SNL? Yeah, it's like I feel like people want a, a creative to do that job, but you're asking a creative to to be an administrator, and I feel like that's I don't think that really works. It'll probably be someone that well, we don't even know. <laughs> There's Dylan Ray. And there's Drew Gilbert, 4 out of 20. Justin with the Astros. Like, it'll probably be like a, a senior writer that probably, you know, has never been, even been in front of the camera. I feel like it would be someone like that. I'd be surprised if, like, a big name took that. Although I could see, I could see them doing like a, almost like a guest producer, right? If they want to get creative with it, you know, so like you could have, uh, you could have Tina Fey do one season, you know, as a, as the executive producer and then she'll curate the season of the show and cast the season of the show in the way that, you know, and book guests for the season in the way that she sees fit, right? And then you have Seth Meyers do it for a season. Then you have, you know, I guess Conan's working on other stuff, but have the Steve Higgins guy do it for a season. They could rotate, have Keenan do it for a season. It could be something like that. So they're kind of like the, they're editing the entire season. You know, so they'll green light the sketches. They'll get specific guests on. I think that could be interesting. And in that way, that's where I could see, you know, some of the more creative, like sort of on front of the camera personalities want to do that for just like a limited period of time. There's Mason Wynn and Jason Morabell, 45 out of 99, Rangers... Jesse with the Rangers. Right, yeah, I have like John Mulaney do it for a season. But like I can't see him being like, oh, I'm going to do this executive role for a long period of time. But if you tell him, hey, it's just a short period of time, that might be interesting. There's uh, Mikey Romero, 30 out of 50 for the Red Sox, D'Lo. Right, Jason Kell. Oh, it just says... That's what I figure. I feel like it's something that fans like to complain about more than players, I think, ref calls. And uh, Tamar Johnson, Colas, and Furman at the end. Tamar Johnson going to Alex and the Pirates. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Random Team 3 in the books. Random Team 4 in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Sapphire break. Bye-bye.